Psalms 34. And it says, the Lord redeemeth the soul. And anytime I read uh, a word that has E-T-H at the end, that's continually, continuously, T-H is con meaning continuously. So the Lord continuously redeems the soul. So the word redeem is to bring back or take back or buy back or uh, save back. So the Lord continuously redeems the soul. So within there, any time our soul needs to be redeemed, he continuously to do that for us. And he only do it for his servants. So you are his servant. If you, the Bible says this in Psalms 34, for those that trust in him. So let me read this again. Psalms 34. The Lord redeemeth the soul of the servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Now, the word desolate is a very interesting word. In the Webster Dictionary, the word de desolate means to lay waste. So, the Lord does the opposite of that. So, when he said those who trust in him shall not be desolate, they shall not be wasted. They should not be wasted. And it also means not produce. So the opposite of not produce is to produce. So the Lord's servants shall produce those that trust in him. And not be devastated because the word desolate means to dev devastate. But the opposite of that, what the Lord says, you will not be devastated that's a good that's good news and or deserted because that's what desolate means to be deserted but he says you trust in him you will not be deserted and to and the word desolate means to make unfit so the opposite of that is to be made fit for the master's use to be made fit to live for the master's use. So the opposite of, again, desolate. Uh, desolate means to be, to be made unhappy or to make unhappy. The Lord says the opposite. He will not make you unhappy. He redeems you. When he redeems you, those who trust in him, you will not be made unhappy. So this is a reward of those who trust in him. You servants that trust in him. And to serve him is to believe in him and to believe in his word. And, he, and also the word desolate means to be left alone. So the opposite of what he's saying, you will not be left alone. He's always with you. Will always be with you 24 7, 24 hours in a day, all through the night, every second. Every quick as you can blink your eyes or snap your fingers, he's right there at all times. So you never be left alone. The word desolate means to dread. So the opposite of what the Lord has said, you will not dread. He will not, you will not be dreaded. Barren, the opposite of desolate is to be barren, to be empty. But the opposite, what the Lord is saying, he will keep you full. You will not be empty. You will, you, you will have plenty. 
and or be able to produce you know barren is for an example like a woman that is not able to have children she's barren but the lord the opposite of that he can cause her to have children and she won't be barren no more that's an example of barren not being able to produce but we will those who trust in the lord and the last but not least is being dismayed. So let's go into the year 2022. I want to say Happy New Year to each of you, each of my beloved. And uh, that's from Psalms 34:22. And on the sidebar, I want to give you Psalms 37 and 1. It says, Fret not. The word fret means do not worry, be not worried, be not unhappy. Fret not yourself because of the evildoers, neither you be envious of them. For they shall soon be cut down. That's good news. So don't be envy of them. Don't worry. Don't be so unhappy. Because you see them prospering. The Bible says, For they will, they shall be cut down. And they shall be cut down in a way where they're like grass. You know, when you cut the grass down with a lawnmower, and they shall be withered away like green her herbs. You know, when the herbs first are produced from the ground, they're luscious. And green and beautiful herbs but when they dry up they crumble they die so they say they that the evildoers shall wither away as green herbs how green herbs finally die and dry up and wither away so God bless you